Okay, well, good morning from Northern Ants Gaming. I am Mark, and we are in American Truck Simulator. I just uh, scheduled a pickup and then delivery for a Walmart trailer. So we are just going to be heading out to go pick that up, and we will go deliver it. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out today. Please remember to hit that subscribe button so you get your notifications when all the new videos are coming out. So let's head out. Yeah, we don't need our headlights on right now. It's nice and bright out, which is good. We're gonna pull up this way a little bit farther so that we can We gotta head back the other. Oh, oh, it's gonna redirect me that way. I guess we could head out this way. No, oh, it was gonna head it this. No, oh, yeah, let's go this way. It'll, it's directing us this way also. I did turn up the volume on the the game a little bit, so we'll see how the the sound of the game compared to my voice is yeah it would probably have been better to go the other way but this will be okay I can do other views too, um, if I can remember what. I can do other camera angles. We could try some of those too. I guess if I went the other way, it would have been a whole lot quicker. Oh well, live and learn. <laughs> so how's everybody doing this morning? Hopefully doing well. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning again, and laid awake until like 5, and then did fall back to sleep for a little bit, but... No. <laughs> Tried to keep me turning. Great, it's a red light like in real life. <laughs> it takes forever. Beautiful day, sunshine and blue sky. Still 11 a.m., so hopefully we should be able to get this delivery and get it all in the daytime. I'm pretty good on sleep and I've got a full tank of gas too because that last trip I took was not very uh very far so I didn't use much of my gas. Heading to the local Walmart here. Pick up a trailer. It 
will be head to a new town. Okay, well, it's not going to have me. back here. It's not that one. You know, it's, a, it's a Walmart trailer that I'm picking up. Not that one. Okay, it's next to the seafood trailer. That one right there. There are other camera angles. I'm trying to figure. There's a free... The distance one. Yeah, we'll stick with the... What we'll do is we'll save, like, the camera angle for when we're out driving and like we get to a really cool spot where it's got good scenery we can kind of pretend like we get out of the truck there we go we got our trailer hooked up okay I need to head back out the way it came in I wonder if I can get through over Let's pull up once and see if we can we get down this way and get around. Yeah, we might be able to. Let's head out that way once and see if we can just drive around the whole building. Got another long trailer. Woo! It's a triple. <laughs> I've not tried one of those yet. I could imagine it's not the most pleasant thing to back up. Uh, do we want to go all the way to the end here? Do we want to... Yeah, let's just head up this way, because then we can get out. It was uh, raining when I played the other day that I was hauling that Walmart trailer. And it was night too, so it would've, that would have been a double whammy. Rain and dark. I guess that guy didn't want to get stuck behind the big semi-truck. Cool mountains. Okay, cool Might be a little difficult to drive. I don't have my... I don't have my mirror. Flipping a truck, flipping something right now and not even know it. Yeah, <laughs> so let's stick to the camera. <laughs> We're all over the place.
Yeah, it's a little, little rough trying to drive it this way. <laughs> you can see the scenery a little better. Tell me what you think about this camera angle. It's hard to drive with it this way, but you know, to once in a while to pop to it to try to change up the the scenery a little bit. You can kind of see the the trailer and the truck a lot better, which is kind of cool to see too. Must be a fairly heavy load. Oh great, my my controller joystick is catching on me. So I go to turn a little bit and it turns me a lot. That's why it, you can see it's kind of jerking a little bit. Okay, well we're gonna try pop back inside real quick. <laughs> Wrong button. Wrong button. Oh jeez. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I thought that button was the Oh, that was exciting. Glad there was no head on cars coming. Yike. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to stay inside the yellow lines. Inside the lines with the being outside of the truck. This is a really cool area. Let's let's take it. Let's pull over once. Take in a little bit of the scenery. Okay, let's see. Part two. You can see the cool fields. And I wonder how I'm going to try see. Oh. Pause. okay that's for the other mirror that would make it easier okay oh well, that's with no mirrors I kind of need that one up and the GPS let's turn the GPS off we can still use you can see the it's got a lot of different cool angles and stuff for the GPS, but uh, let's see. that shows our damage to our trailer if we if we would happen to get into an accident or something. Uh, let's see how do we turn it back off? I would great. I had it off for a second there. Okay. Let Let's see what that. What that is for? Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, well let's not that. Let's head back inside of the truck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy! Try to figure out all these buttons. Yeah, it's It kind of cycles through the camera angles on when you have hit nine. You want to get back inside. Okay, this is without the GPS. I, I do like that. Because then you can, you know, it's a little bit more... More realistic looking. We still have our GPS in the truck there, so... That's pretty cool. And we can throw up one of the videos on that little, I think that's a little TV screen next to my GPS. We're going to throw up my, throw my uh, new trailer for my channel up on that screen while we're driving here. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the comments.
these videos it's really hard to determine the you know like how long they're gonna be because it's based on however long it takes to get to the to the destination. That's a cool rock formation ahead of us. <laughs> now, so we get clouds. So like, how long was that looking away from the sky? <laughs> our eye on our actual gauges for our speed and things like that because with having that big GPS turned off it's not giving me my speed compared to speed limit ratio it does give us the speed limit on the GPS but not what we're going so we have to use the actual physical gauges to determine that now Plus, we have no idea how far we still have to go. take it try to find a an inexpensive steering wheel but I don't want to get something like cheapy either that's not gonna perform very well I've seen some of the setups it's really cool that people put on for their channels and it's like they're actually in a semi truck second there. Oh, we don't know how tired we are either without the, the GPS up. have pretty much a full tank of gas you can see on the gauges there I could even make it more realistic getting rid of that other mirror but then without a VR tracking headset it's so hard to look over towards that other mirror using the joysticks. <laughs> the gated, uh, gated area. Mm -hmm. 